friends, it's Miss Mary here from the HHS Teen Center and welcome to this activity, Found Object Banners. So the first thing you'll want to do is go through any magazines or perhaps any books from a donation pile you might have at your home. Be sure that it's cool to take things out of wherever you're taking them out of. Check with whoever they belong to and um, take out some pieces that you like. So we'll be using these um, to create the little banners. I've picked quite a few different images for uh, my banners and um, some of them I think any part of the page would be great and others I picked because there's one thing on it where I really like the image like um, for instance this cool older looking photograph. I don't want to just like get a triangle cut from anywhere. It's going to be a pretty specific spot to get the image I like captured. So to help us do that, we're going to create a template um, that we'll just lay on top of whatever we're cutting from so we can trace around it and then cut. So for a good template, you just want a sturdy piece of paper. I've got here just a cereal box and I have folded it in half in one section and then here I will be deciding how um, large I want my little flags to be. I'm gonna go with a triangle shape and so just to help with that I'm gonna go ahead and use my, my um, ruler here to get a nice straight shape. Once you've got it worked out the size that you want, make sure you get the angles just how you like. Go ahead and cut out, making sure um, you're cutting out on both sides. So now I'm just going to go through all the different pieces that I cut out or took out of my magazines and I'm just going to lay my template I've created right over them. So keep in mind, um, you'll probably, you will have most likely a front and a back um, to the way that you display this. So if you want to make sure and get an image um, mainly on the front where you'll be seeing it, line it up so you catch that. So I'd like to catch um, like the figure here and the one right on the side. And so I'll line that up just so to catch most of her. And then on the back side of it, we'll just have some you know, other image. this way. I'm just going to take the flag here, line it up, fold in half, and then just place it on the string. It'll be glued together, but so you'll know that's what this flag will look like. And if you hang it somewhere where, it'll be, where it would be visible on both sides, this is the image you get on the back, and this would be the front. But I'm going to hang mine so I only see one side. So this will be the image that I've chosen. Now we just keep going. Lay that template down where you'd like it to get some images captured for your little flags and keep doing this uh, multiple times until you get all the images that you've selected. tracing my template on top of my images so now I'm just going to cut 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 and get these ready for the next step at all 
love the little flags that you've created. And if you're going to have yours visible on just one side, be sure to select um, which side that you want visible. You want to have those laid out um, in the order that you'll put them on the string and in the direction that you want before the next step. I've got all of my little flags laid out here in the order that I'll put them on. They will be in one long line, um, but I've just spaced them out this way so I know which one to put on first and then uh, following each. Starting with the first flag, I'm just going to slip that onto my string, leaving a little bit left over on the end so I can tie that around a little thumbtack or something so I can display it. And then I'm just gonna get a good swipe of glue stick and press that together to seal it. Now we're ready to just keep going and adding all of our flags on. I'm excited to share my finished project with you here and I can't wait to see what you've created. Please share it with us by posting to your social media and be sure to give us a tag at BGCOPH. Thank you.